Hi guys, Ancient Warrior. Welcome back to Prepping in Free America. If you like what you hear here, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be the first kid on your block to know what craziness I'm talking about next, hit the bell icon with all. Well, they've come out telling us about another young man being shot. In Chicago, Chicago police confronted a young man at 2.30 in the morning and he had a gun. Now I was listening to the Chicago Union leader and he made a comment that I agreed with. And that was, sorry, no cop who puts on that uniform every day is obligated to get, to allow people to shoot at them or to kill them. I agree with that. <coughs> now, young man in particular is Adam Toledo, 13 years old. Oh, by the way, he was running with a 21-year-old felon. Why was he running with a 21-year-old felon? I got a better question. Why was he out running around at 2.30 in the morning on a school night? Now, this is a series of lack of failures, right? Wrong. Was Adam Toledo a bad kid? Not to hear his parents or friends talk. Hear the people talk. They, man, he was just fantastic. He, he walked on water and, you know, took rocks and turned them into bread. There's more to this story, I'll bet you. And the officers the Chicago police have turned loose the body cam. Now, why was the 13-year-old carrying the gun? Because the 21-year-old didn't want to go back to prison. Folks, this all goes back to a what we talked about earlier in the week and that is for every action there's an opposite and equal reaction young Mr. Toledo had a gun in his hand now he did toss it away but the cop didn't see that he just saw his arm move so Mr. Toledo got shot in the chest and died. Why was he out at 2.30 in the morning running around with a 21-year-old felon? Where was mom and daddy? Where were the schools? Where were all the people that failed this young man? You know, Chicago's a hot, hotbed of shootings. <clears throat> and Lori Lightfoot, mayor of that fine metropolitan area, I gotta wash the distaste out of my mouth for that woman. Says now we need to change the way we do Foot pursuits. Okay. What they're not telling you, the reason all this happened is because the two of them were shooting at cars as they drove down the street. 
But the mainstream media is not going to tell you that. They're going to paint this kid out as a victim of the evil, racist police. I'm sick of it. And I'm sure it's going to come to a head one day, but when it does, dear God, are we going to be able to... Are we going to still be standing as a country? Things have got to change in this country. And one of the things that's got to change is the liberals have got to quit stoking up the hate. They want a communist country so bad they can taste it. But liberals, let me warn you. You better go read what happened in Cuba. What happened in Venezuela. What happened in every country. Hell, just read what it. The Night of Long Knives from Germany with Hitler. Folks, those of you thinking you're going to be part of the ruling elite, maybe taking a dirt nap. So, with that being said, keep prepping. Now is the time to be doing it even harder. Stack it from the floor to the ceiling. And remember, it's better to have this equipment, not need it, than need it and not have it. I'm the Ancient Warrior. We're out.